so this is take two of a video. I've literally been talking the last 30 minutes to myself because my phone decided that it didn't want to take no more footage and so I had to clean out a bunch of stuff on my phone. Hopefully I can get this video filmed quick enough to where my phone will allow it. So anyway, today we're going to be talking about seeds. We're going to be talking about saving seeds, starting seeds from the store, expiration dates, um, all that. So I, if you followed me last year, um, you'll know I did my first garden that came out absolutely beautiful and I didn't really have a lot of chance to do different types of vegetables because of a little blonde moment that I had. Um, I worked at a nursery. I was able to get some uh, plants really, really cheap. I think they were like 25 cents for a four pack. And I bought probably eight to nine little cases, not realizing that each four, each four pack had four plants producing food and I bought cabbage and tomatoes, peppers and Brussels sprouts and all of those types of vegetables and that pretty much took all the space in my garden so I was unable to do things like different types of varieties of tomatoes, different types of pepper plants and eggplant and squash and zucchini. I didn't really get to do any of that because I had abundance of the basic garden vegetables. Um, so this year, my plan is to do it a little bit differently. I do still want to have a lot of tomato plants, but I want different types of tomato plants. I want um, cherry tomato plants and pear shaped ones and pink ones and red ones and yellow ones. I don't just want red and orange, like I want different types. So maybe having a couple plants of each one of those is what we'll be able to do. And then also be able to have eggplant and um, okra because last year I really wanted okra halfway through the season and it was too hot to actually start it. So definitely excited about that. Um, as far as my seeds go, so I get seeds all over the place. If I see a packet of seeds, I'm gonna look just to make sure there's nothing that I don't already have or maybe I need to pick up more of um, because having a bunch is always smart, right? Um, so I buy a lot of seeds at Dollar Tree. Um, last year, I bought my flowers from Dollar Tree and they did really, really well. My zinnia plants were beautiful from the little dollar boxes of like the sawdust seed. Um, planted really, really good zinnias with that. Um, and also their seeds are four for a dollar. So for things like spinach and um, lettuce and things like that, it's just a really good um, price to be four for a dollar. And then at Dollar General, so generally Dollar General has just cheaper seeds um, just like Dollar Tree. In fact, my Dollar General last year had Dollar Tree brand seeds, but this year they had some really pretty burpee seed packages. Um, so these are also burpee, but the packages look different and they had a little bit of a different type of um, seeds in them. They weren't the ones you see like at Walmart, just the, the very average sugar peas or Roma tomato. So I picked up five packages and the first one I picked up was Mommy Brown's tomatoes. Um, I did not see those um, at Walmart. So I picked up packages of them and don't mind my fingernails. They are not dirty. They have purple shampoo in them. Um, long story but anyway my my nails are covered with purple and my hands are even kind of purpley still so back to this um moon and star watermelon i thought it was really pretty i have a bunch of watermelon seeds but i don't have any of the moon and star so i picked up some of those and then star of david okra it's like little short okras and then 
mammoth basil. So last year I planted just a regular um, sweet basil, holy basil, some people call it that. Um, I planted that, but this year I'm going to plant some mammoth and it's going to be from the picture, it looks like some of the leaves are like the size of my hand. So that should be really interesting. Now I thought that Brad's Atomic Tomatoes were a Baker Creek seed. Um, I guess they're not because Burpee also picked them up. So I picked up another package of those. I do have um, one package from Baker Creek and I got those last year. And so I picked these up this year because I feel like the Atomic Grape Tomatoes, they are so pretty. Um, some people like them and some people don't. So I'm really interested to see um, how they taste. And then for a flower, we got Love Lies Bleeding. Um, I don't know much about this. I've actually never seen it before. So I'm going to be planting this um, in the corners. Maybe the corners of my garden would be pretty. I don't know. We'll see, um, but definitely follow along because we're going to plant this. And I picked up a bunch of packages of these over the past month, just a package here and there, of these little honeycomb hybrid, like cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. Um, tomatoes are one of my favorite things to grow because I can them and I dehydrate them. I turn them into powder, um, I eat them fresh, put them on salads. Like there's just so many things that you can do with them and I, I cannot wait to get my tomatoes growing. Um, and then just some regular cherry tomatoes as well. Um, bok choy, pek choy, not sure how you say it, but definitely gonna try and grow it this year. Um, I have bought it at the store and I've also bought leeks at the store and I kind of want to grow leeks too, but I haven't seen any seeds yet. So we're gonna try and grow some bok choy bok choy. I don't know if the E is pronounced that way. Anyway, you know what I mean. That's what we're going to plant and that is that. So, um, the first thing that will be going in the ground here in the next week or two is going to be the peas. Um, I did grow these last year. I grew them a little bit late and what ended up happening was they died off when it got hot. So, I'm going to be growing these two they can both be grown in February in my area. I am in Missouri, so um, I'm not exactly, I can't remember what zone that is, but these are the first things that are gonna be getting grown. And I got a bunch of them because what I figure is I can grow a whole bunch of them. And then by the time I start growing everything else, these will have died back because of the heat. So that's kind of the thought process behind it. Um, another thing that will be going in the garden this year, um, I'm pretty sure is going to be corn. Um, so I have several different types of corn. I do want to grab a couple of the purple and black corn that I've seen. Um, but we're going to be growing that and then we're going to be growing pole beans around the corn um, as a companion plant. So green beans and corn are going to be something to try this year. Um, of course, radishes. Um, I planted a bunch of packs of these last year. So at Walmart, um, they had these big packs, which I had never seen before at my Walmart. And there was 24 grams in them. Um, and the other packs, they only had, I think it was like three or six, something like that. And um, it was cheaper to spend the three seventy four. dollars You actually got a whole pack, almost two packs more in this. Sometimes the value pack is not better, but in this case, it is better um, for the piece. So if you have these and you like them, I would get these packs instead and spend the extra dollar. Um, microgreens, I grew these last year, but I forgot about them. So we're gonna try them again this year. And then, the eggplant, I picked up some green eggplant and um, I already had the purple or black eggplant. So I'm gonna throw a couple of plants of each and then we have some pinata peppers. So for flowers, I love flowers. They're gonna be growing everywhere this year. Um, we planted a lot of flowers last year, but I think this year 
would plant some more. So we're gonna have some zinnias. These are a multicolored variety. They are the peppermint stick and then some balloon flowers and some old Mexico zinnias, which is just these um, variegated colors. So I grew Bird House gourds um, last year did really well. I had about 20 to 25 gourds. I did pick up some more, even though I'm going to be taking the seeds out of those gourds and making bird houses out of them. I am going to probably plant one or two fresh seeds and then some of the other seeds just to see if those seeds actually do grow. Um, cause like I said, last year was my first year doing a garden. So we're going to be testing out a bunch of different things. So St. John's wort, German chamomile, two things that I buy a lot of at the health food store. Um, my health food store has Baker Creek Seeds. Even though I don't live that far from there, inevitably every time they have an event or just in general, I just don't go an hour and 45 minutes from my home to go to the actual Baker Creek company. But my health food store actually had a really big display of Baker Creek Seeds and I was able to find these and also Lufa. Um, this year, the other big announcement is goats. Um, I do have my fence just about completed and I'm just waiting for a couple of things to fall into place and I will be getting goats in the spring very, very soon. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, and there's actually already a couple of goats that I'm actually looking at and I've actually been talking to the owners. Um, so if they are there when these things fall into place, I actually have one goat that I already have my eye on. She's so cute. She's all black with a little dot on her nose. And um, yes, everybody knows I like my black and this goat will, will match. So um, anyway, she is a Nubian and I really like her. So hopefully I'll be able to get her. If not, there are plenty of goats out there. I know this and there are plenty more black ones too. So either way, goats are in the future. I'm going to be taking goat milk and I'm going to be making soap and using the loofah as an exfoliant by cutting them in and pouring the milk over. So this is something that I'm going to be doing in a project. Will be next year project probably because they will take time to dry and I know that but oh, we're running out of time on my space on my phone because I think I can only go up to 20 minutes and I'm already at 12 so I'm kind of talking really fast through this video and I'm getting sidetracked on goats because that's my Oh, that's my passion. So, my thrift store, they actually had an entire box of these. Um, they are Baker Creek seeds. They are the black coat seeds. It is an edible ornamental bean. I don't know if anybody's ever planted these before, but I got a ton of packages. They, every time I went in there, they would like throw in a handful, like here's some more seeds. They're all the same thing, which is, which is fine. Uh, means I'll be planting them for many years to come. <laughs> um, but yeah, these I'm gonna go ahead and try. And then we have some long yard beans. There is a green one and then a purple one or a red one, red noodle. Um, I'm thinking those will go really well on the trellis. I don't think I've really posted anything about it, but the trellis that goes over my garden, um, if you followed from last year, you know what I'm talking about. I have extended it and now it is four panels instead of one panel. Yes, two panels. Two panels, long ways, now it is four. So it is super, super big. Um, so I think maybe planting one of these um, little things to grow these long noodle beans down would be super cool um as well as morning glories and stuff grow on that as well so for herbs um we got some lavender thyme tarragon and sage um they have many uses i use them in tea i smoke them and i dry them cook with them so I'm definitely going to be doing quite a few of the herbs as well. Um, I don't think I covered onions yet. So last year I did some onions and they didn't really uh, come up. Um, 
they didn't get big they didn't get big enough to harvest there's some out there still and they have like little green things coming up on them so I don't know what they're gonna do I'm just kind of like watching them but I'm not actually gonna be taking too much space this year in my garden for onions just because they didn't come up but I am picking up onion seeds just in case um, I can't get seeds next year or something happens I will have some in my stash for something like that if I needed to grow onions I could very strategically keep an eye on onions and get them to grow maybe I don't know I just didn't have good luck with them and I didn't have good luck with carrots either and I don't know if I'm going to be planting carrots this year um, or not because I am going to be doing okra and eggplant and some squash and things so definitely um, trying to figure out what's important and what's not as important but I am going to be doing a couple little science experiments with my kids this year so I was in the herb section um, at my Walmart the like Latina area and they had uh, achote seeds and pumpkin seeds and I'm like hmm I wonder if these would grow so I'm gonna be trying to plant both of these. Now this one, since it is a product of another country, it may not grow in Missouri. Um, it may take too long. I don't know, don't know much about it. I do know that um, it goes in beans and it dyes everything red. So we're gonna try, not sure how it's gonna go, but I do wanna try it. And then the same with these pumpkin seeds. These are not roasted or anything. Um, and it looks like part of the plant is like still in there. So I don't think they've been like roasted or nothing like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and plant them and see if a pumpkin doesn't grow. Um, but this is kind of going to be like a little science experiment for the boys and me to see if we can get something to grow from the market that's not actually a seed package. Um, as far as saving seeds. So I saved um, a ton of seeds and some people say once these um, like plants grow and you eat them, the seeds are like sterile. Some of these are from the grocery store um, produce department, which is not that great, but again, a little experiment. So my little acorn squash, I grew quite a few of them. Um, I boil them and then I um, turn them into powders. Um, so I have a ton of the acorn squash, cilantro seeds, and then flowers. I mean, there's a ton of flowers. So we have bachelor buttons. I saved a whole bunch of those. And then morning glories. Um, my morning glories did very well and they produced a ton of seeds. So um, we're gonna have a lot of them. And then these I believe are Johnny Jump Ups. Um, they were really cute. They were like an orange, almost like a marigold, but I believe that they're called um, Johnny Jump Ups. And then here's just some other things that I have saved um this this package here is like a, a spiky fruit um it's not the dragon fruit but it was some people they have them at some supermarkets and they're really big like a watermelon and they have all, all these spikes on them one day my curiosity got the best of me and i went ahead and purchased one for a very ridiculously expensive amount but I went ahead and I saved the seeds because why not try and grow the plant? Um, again, it's kind of one of those things. It's not grown here. It's a tropical fruit, so it might not grow here, but I want to try it anyway. And then we just have tons and tons of pepper seeds. And then um, my dad actually planted, uh, they're, they're a bush and they grow really pretty flowers. And I cannot for the life of me think what they are. They're not the azalea bushes. Um, they grow really, really tall. And one day they had a ton of seeds. And so I went ahead and I took a whole bunch of the seeds and I'm going to try and start some of them because they come back year after year and they make a really pretty hedge. And I think they'd be really pretty um, down the fence line. So. 
these are definitely something that I'm going to maybe try and start this year. These seeds are about two years old, so I really want to try and start them this year. Um, that's pretty much the base of what my garden is going to be this year. And there's going to be some experiments along the way. And if you like gardening, I really hope that you guys will follow my channel and give this a some thumbs up because it definitely will help my channel grow. Um, also, my all of my links, all my social medias will be in the description. And I post a lot of stuff on Instagram, which is primarily where I post. But for my longer videos, I like to come over onto my YouTube and give updates and stuff over here. Um, as far as my pottery goes, I know that some of you follow me for my pottery. Um, I'm actually kind of sick right now and I cannot, um, squeeze the clay on my pottery wheel, which is really, really sad because I miss my art, but at the same time, I cannot, I have to delegate my energy and my time into my children first and then my gardening and my homesteading is more important to me at this time for being self-sufficient and taking care of my family. So my pottery is not out of the question, never going to happen, but right now it is on the back burner because I just cannot um, physically do it right now. So if you follow me for my pottery, um, I do really appreciate your follow and I hope that you stick around for the new adventures that me and my family are on. It's just right now I cannot put out the pottery videos like I was. So anyway, if you guys have made it all the way to the end of this video, um, I really, really appreciate it. And I love all of you guys. And I hope you guys have a great 2024 garden season. And I will talk to you soon. Be sure to follow my Instagram because I'm gonna be putting a lot of my garden stuff over there. So yeah, bye guys.